Hello everybody, my name is Amrita Sandhu and I'm the director of Care India Health, a chain of organized wellness pharmacies. Today I'm going to be discussing the side effects of self-medication. What is self-medication? This is when you treat an illness or health concern without consulting a qualified and certified medical doctor. India is home to 1.4 billion people and we only have one doctor per 1,700 citizens. No matter, no wonder why a self-medication is on the rise. Accessibility to a doctor is one of, the, one of the concerns in smaller areas. However, more often than not, people think that self-medicating is time-saving, cost-saving compared to seeing a doctor. And of course, these days, everybody resorts to Google and they feel that they have enough knowledge from Google itself. I'm sure a lot of you can relate with this. So what is the big deal if someone prop pops a crossing? Sounds trivial, right? However, self-medication can be extremely dangerous. Many times, if we have a fever, we often take an antibiotic like Aziwok without actually requiring it because a viral infection cannot be treated by antibiotics, which is actually for a bacterial infection. So what happens is when we keep popping these antibiotics, our bodies actually become resistant to the medicine. In addition to antibiotic resistance, another harmful side effect of self-medication is drug interaction, which can be fatal and even life-threatening. Consulting your general physician is always the best option as they are aware of all the medicines that you take so they can see what interactions maybe might happen if you add another medicine into your regimen. If you will, I'll give you a personal example. So I think I was suffering from some UTI symptoms and I asked my dad for a medicine. And um, after taking it, about two hours later, I developed these like black spots on my hands and my fingers were getting swollen. So I called my doctor and told him what medicine I took. And um, he told me immediately that I was allergic to sulfur. So if I had consulted my doctor, this could have been prevented. So self-medication is as harmful as a wrong diagnosis. It can cause antibiotic resistance, drug allergies, drug interactions, skin concerns, hypersensitivity, gastric problems, and all even more fatal and life-threatening incidences. Self-medication is, is in fact the number one reason in developing countries for drug dependence on painkillers, sleeping pills, you know, including misusing su something such as Benadryl, right? Which we, I'm sure we know a lot of people who do that. So as a director uh, of a pharmacy chain, Care India Health, I'd like to also share light on the sad reality in India that most pharmacies in our country, due to the lack of regulations, are not hiring all pharmacists. And therefore, patients are self-medicating from quacks who more often than not do not care if you need an antibiotic or not. So this is extremely concerning as unprofessionals are posing to be qualified health advisors, right? So we're going to a pharmacy and we're self-medicating from somebody who's not a pharmacist. So he is not aware if you actually require an antibiotic or not. In fact, he doesn't even care because it's just increasing his sale. Right? So my advice is to please not self-medicate. And if you do, please go to an organized chain pharmacy where there are higher chances of the staff being certified pharmacists. So the, the ill-informed in common man going in for self-medication and the underqualified pharmacy employee dispensing the drug form, a potent combination for disaster. So guys, your health is your most pre precious asset don't opt for a fast and cheap solution. The ultimate accountability of our health lies with us. So please don't use Google and please go to a certified doctor. Thank you.